There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Band, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Hey, Harry! Remember me? Ron Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me! Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in Defence Against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Whoa, it's Potty Wee Potter! That's Peeves the Poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. You'll get in the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie Bot's every flavour beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. You need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. 
We need the beans for some <coughs> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. <laughs> It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. I am P Professor Quirrell. T Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. Splendid! You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. <laughs> Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point, if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye! This is a no, Mr. Potter. They like to p pester young wizards. Knock him on his b backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be quite a nuisance. Congratulations, Mr. P -P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. Twenty p points for G Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to broomstick p practice. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. <laughs> A perfect score. 20 points for Gryffindor. I also congratulate you for being the first student to find the secret room since 1867. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learnt on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. Now you try using Alhamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora to open it. Charms class is through this door. Welcome, young wizards. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. You've collected all the challenge stars. 
20 points for Gryffindor. Now, off you go. Hey, Potter, do you like surprises? Malfoy's got a present for you. You better watch your step around here, Potter. Slytherins don't like Gryffindors. Hello, Harry. I'm Neville Longbottom. This is my remember all. It tells you if there's something you've forgotten to do. Oh, it's telling me we have Herbology class soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Watch out for Draco Malfoy. I saw him sneaking around here just a moment ago. Well, well, Potter. We meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Oh, boo-hoo! Potter can't get out of the castle. These wizard crackers should make you feel better. They're surprisingly good fun. Here, catch! Caught you, Potter! Next time you won't be so lucky. Harry, over here. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. Can't believe how quickly everything grows round here. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance to the greenhouse, waiting for you. Drop round for tea later, after your lessons are done. The herbology lesson has just passed Professor Sprout's garden. I'll wait here for Neville. I think he's got lost again. Go on, Harry. You better get to the lesson. Wow! Hey, Harry. Have you collected 25 beans? Thanks for helping us out, Harry. Here's a wizard card, then. Hope you don't have this one yet. Come on, George. We've got work to do. Welcome, class. I am Professor Sprout. Today we'll learn the incendio spell, which is useful against all manner of dangerous plants. Now it's time for the incendio challenge. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the balcony. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You've completed the challenge. You've collected all the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now off you go. There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. I've got something I need to talk to you about. Be best to discuss it back at my hut. Meantime, you're going to be late for your broomstick training. Off you go. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Please help me. So Longbottom has gone snivelling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. Give me back Neville's remember all, Malfoy. You want the remember all back? See if you can catch it. And you better watch out for my bludgers. You damaged my broomstick, Potter! You'll pay for this! Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Come here, Trevor. Come back. 
I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy headmistress of Hogwarts and head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against a formidable Slytherin team. See you then. How could they allow a first year to play Quidditch? You, on the Quidditch team. I doubt you'll be walking after this living match. Now, get your lessons, Potter. Hurry! Over here! Come along, then. I've something to show them about. By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Now I can show you what I wanted to talk to you about. It's a dragon's egg, Harry. But it's our secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to make it hatch. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? I grow them in caves out in the garden. I need you to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go then. That must be a fire seed plant. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. collected all the fire seeds I need. Here's a wizard card for you, from my own collection. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Hey, hey, lovely. I'll call him Morbid. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Up you come, my beauty. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. You'd best get ready for Quidditch now. Should be an exciting game. Slytherin's a tough team, but you'll show them, eh? Hmm, we'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Slytherin. The Quidditch fish has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two meters of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Jordan, no favoritism. Sorry, miss. Remember, First, avoid the bludgers, then find and catch the snitch. The game is over when the snitch is caught. Good luck! Up! And they're off! Let's play Quidditch! Excellent! Potter has the snitch! Potter's done it! Gryffindor have beaten Slytherin! Well done, Harry Potter! 
My name's Lee Jordan, signing off. Harry Potter, the youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts, had won the Quidditch match. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Something is troubling me, Harry. Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. Hey, Harry. Have you collected 25 beans? Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. They're for a little joke we're playing on Slytherin. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Come on, George. We've got work to do. just came out of the Forbidden Corridor. He's limping quite badly. Come on, Harry. Let's take a look before Filch comes back. Hear that growling? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. Better tell me on the run. We'll be late for our defence against Dark Arts lesson. we'll learn to illuminate dark magic with the Lumos spell. You may begin the Lumos challenge to practice the spell. F -f Follow me, Mr. Papata. found my secret napping place. Shh. You've collected all the challenge stars. Twenty points for the Gryffindor. Now, off to your potions lesson. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flobberworm Mucus. Be quick about it, or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. Be Disney. Oh. Where am I? I wonder if Snape tricked me. From what Amani told me, I think that's the Molly. Oh no, it's the bloody Baron. Hmm, that looks like Wigan Tree Bark. That must be Flubberworm Mucus. Hmm, that must be Disney. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. Harry! Are you 
Whose troll is on the rampage? It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Harry, what's that smell? Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! Gryffindor wins again! My name's Lee Jordan, signing off! Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. Peeves, you'll be banished for this. That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Mrs. Norris, I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Let's check the library, my sweet. Ah. 
Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. You keep watch from above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes! Intruder! about your Quidditch victory. Yes, well done, Harry. On to the cuppy, what? Wow. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the Mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The Mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. Only way out of this room is past that gate. It makes an awful racket. You take that side of the room, and I'll take this one. You'll catch you, Mrs. Norris. Intruder! Do you have 25 beans for us? <laughs> That's it! That's all the beans we need! Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. Remember, you don't know anything about us collecting beans. It'll be our secret, right? Come on, George. We've got work to do. Hermione, Ron and Harry researched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. 
It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. It looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. Hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. I'll try the flute. That might put Fluffy to sleep for a Do be careful. Want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay. It's a soft landing. You can jump. Come on, Harry. This is. It's the Devil's Snare. Next time I'm going to pay more attention in Herbology. Help! It's the Devil's Snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. most of the pieces. But I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. Oh no! The exit is blocked by magical fire. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. 
Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. You've got to find Snape on your own. I'll go back and help Ron. Good luck, Harry. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Curses, Potter! You will not succeed again! Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. So the stone's gone, said Ron finally. Harry nodded and wished it good riddance. Then Ron produced a brand new famous Witches and Wizards card from his robes and handed it to Harry. You've got the whole set now, Harry, Ron said. Harry was stunned. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>